Hi, my name is George Large, and I work with Yozuri America. I'd like to tell you about an experience that we've had at Billy Chapman Jr.'s Angler's Inn at beautiful Lake El Salto, Mexico. We were largemouth bass fishing this week, and I'd like to tell you about the hospitality first and foremost. At Angler's Inn, the food, the guides, and the staff are first class, best in the world. In fact, I think I gained weight. You will not go to another lodge anywhere in the world that will treat you with respect and dignity and do anything that you need to make your fishing experience a successful one. We were fishing this past week and caught many fish over 10 pounds. What I'd like to do is talk to you a little bit about the baits that we have out for bass fishing. They're called sashimi and they're the only baits in the world that have two international patents for freshwater fishing. The international patents that we have are our color change technology that gives you the ability where the lures can actually change color in the water column. The second patent that we have is the ribbing on the body and it's what we call wave motion technology. And what's unique about these two features are is that you don't need a very large bait to catch large bass. In fact, this lure right here caught an 11 pound bass this week. And the reason being is, is that with the wave motion technology and the ribbing, it actually sends out vibrations into the water column and makes the bait look twice the size and twice the vibration in the water column. Add to that the color change technology from the front view and back view, front view and back view, you can see the innovative technology that we have incorporated into these baits. They're all incorporated with lifelike 3D eyes, lifelike feather-like tail where appropriate, and strong round bend black nickel hooks. All of our hardware are through wire construction, so you never have to worry about that, and they're the most realistic lifelike baits in the, in the uh, market. What we did this week is we did top water fishing, subsurface fishing, and all the way down to deep water fishing. I'd like to explain to you what each of the baits do. This is called the sashimi pencil, and it's a top water walk to dog bait. And every time that bait changes direction, it changes color. This one happens to be black shed to blue shed, black shed to blue shed. So as you're walking the dog, that lure is actually changing colors on the surface while sending out that wave motion vibration. The fish hone in on it and they catch big fish. After the pencil, our top order fishing we have is our sashimi popper. And then what's unique about our popper is again, the size is a small bait but catches very large fish. This one is leopard frog to brown frog. Based on the shape of the mouth, it's a cup-shaped design that's upper lip forward. You can walk the dog as well as pop and stop with this particular bait. Again, lifelike feather tail, round bend black nickel hooks, and the wave motion vibration and color change technology. This fish was responsible for an eight pound bass caught this week. That's the top water baits. One of our favorite baits this week is our sashimi minnow. This will run about two to three feet deep, and again, this is the metallic finish in the color change, and you can see it goes from silver side to gold side, and this one is Tennessee Shad. Feather treble, and the color coordinated depending on the bait itself, so there'll be a white feather, an orange feather, and a red feather. This bait here, I caught a 10 pound, in fact, two 10 pound bass on this exact lure this week. We have great photos, I'm sure you'll be seeing them soon. One of the other baits is our sashimi jerk bait. Now this is a suspending bait, so it'll be neutral buoyancy in the water column, and it'll go down to about five feet deep. This one happens to be perch, which is a great imitation for the tilapia in the, bay, in the lake El Salto there. Are many tilapia, so a perfect imitation for the tilapia there. Suspending bait, and we caught many big fish on this as well. Seven and eight pound bait. Game fish. In addition to that, now we have our sashimi shad, and the shad is also a suspending neutral buoyancy bait. This lure here will dive down six to eight feet and suspend or hover. And again, as you can see, we have the white feather treble on this one, and on our copper craw color, an orange feather treble. And look at the color change on this bait here. It goes from red to copper craw. Black back to green back beautiful color imitations. They have crawfish, or what they call langostinos in Lake El Salto, and it gives high protein for the bass. Certain times of the year when they hatch, this is a perfect imitation for that type of bait. 
sashimi shad. After the sashimi shad, we have a swim bait. And our sashimi jointed is also a suspending lure or neutral buoyancy. This particular lure will get down to approximately eight feet deep. And what's unique about this is since it's jointed, every time that joint swims in the water column, it's a different color from the front part to the back part, as you can see here. So as that lure is swimming, it changes colors from tail to back. Front to back, natural pearl blue to green. Every time changes. Wonderful bait for ripping and also for straight retrieving. One of the people at the lake caught a 10 pound bass on this lure this week. Many, in fact, they caught it on the clown color, this one here. After our suspending jointed sashimi, we have a lipless called our sashimi rattlin vibe. This is the metallic perch color. Again, a perfect imitation, perfect imitation for the tilapia in the lake. And you can see how well that changes colors there. That beautiful green and to a nice golden color imitates tilapia perfectly. The orange belly is a great attractor, bright, and stimulates bass to feed. After the sashimi rattling vibe, we have a brand new crankbait series. A mid, a deep, and a shallow. I'll start with the shallow crank first. This is our shallow crank in our crawfish color. And as you can see, again, that color change and wave motion ribs really send out a lot of vibration. The shallow will go two to four feet. That's our shallow crankbait offered in many different color patterns. And then we have our mid crankbait, and that'll go six to eight feet deep. And this is largemouth bass to smallmouth bass color pattern. So you can see green bass to smallmouth bass on the mid crank. The mid crank also, all of them are incorporated with rattles into the baits as you can hear, hopefully. And then we go to our deep crank. And our deep crank, this is one of the most productive baits on the lake. It's a fire tiger color pattern and it goes from fire tiger to an orange tiger and back again. Deep crank here will get down to approximately 12 feet deep. Many, many fish. We probably caught 50 or 60 fish in a two day period on this lure alone. Nine pound bass was the big one on this one this week, but I know many bigger fish will be caught. We will have a sashimi promotion this year and we're gonna win a free trip or a fish mount for the biggest bass caught on a sashimi crankbait at Angler's Inn, Lake El Salto. Be sure to try this one, it's a sure winner for absolutely very productive lure there. In addition to that, at the lake, there are many, many standing trees and timber in the water. We have a brand new crankbait called a sashimi flat crank. And the sashimi flat crank has a coffin lip design that has angles on the lip. The reason it has angles, it's what we call a deflection bait. So if my arm was a tree in the water and you're cranking, it'll hit and bounce off of it, deflect off without getting snagged into the timber. The flat side, the reason it's flat, is it adds lots of flash underneath the water column. This one, of course, is that copper craw color again. We have a bleeding shad pattern because there's many shad in the lake as well. There's three primary bait fish, tilapia, shad, and crawfish are the three bait fish patterns that they catch in the lake, or that the fish eat in the lake, I'm sorry. And this is a bleeding shad, goes from black shad to blue shad. So in the sashimi family, we cover the water from top to bottom and everything in between with the uh, suspending baits. One of the things that I found to be very, very good is using a leader material. This is our power carbon fluorocarbon leader material. So for those of you that like to fish braided line, the braided line is excellent, but you should use a leader material incorporated. I use 20 or 25 pound tests only because of the snags and the size of the fish, and it worked very well for me. This particular leader material has a lower light refraction index that is very close to water so that it is invisible in the water column. So be sure to visit Angler's Inn, Lake El Salto, Mexico. Billy Chapman Jr. and the hospitality from the staff would love to have you. We'll see you there.